There are still any formalized plans for U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese President to meet at the upcoming G20 summit in Japan. Trump has said that there is no deadline for imposing even more tariffs on Chinese imports. So far, the president has imposed a 25 percent tariff on Chinese goods, which caused China to set up retaliatory tariffs on U.S. goods, especially ag products like beans and pork. Trump is taking action to potentially impose that same tariff on the remaining Chinese goods. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo talked about Trump pushing back on China. The president's always been a vigorous defender of human rights. He's going to get the opportunity, I think, to see President Xi in just what will be a couple of weeks now in Osaka, Japan, at the G20 summit. I'm, I'm sure this will be among the issues that they discuss. We have a wide range of very important issues in the way China and the United States interact for an awfully long time under Republican Democrat presidents. We allowed China to take advantage of us on trade. And in other ways, President Trump has pushed back very strongly against them. Well, it looks like beef and it's made to taste like beef, but it's not. It's actually a plant-based ground beef. It has been made by Beyond Meat and it's supposed to marbleize and tenderize just like the real thing. What it is is made from a blend of pea mung bean and rice. Now, it packs a 20 grams of protein per serving and it's set to hit the select store shelves next Monday, June 24th. On June 14th and 15th, soybean gall midge adults were collected from Cass County. More information on the larvae and plant injury is on the UNL Crop Watch articles. Trap sites in Saunders and Lancaster counties are checked daily and have not shown any emergence as of yet. Now, if you have soybean fields in Cass or Otto County and have had soybean gall midge injury in previous years in adjacent fields, an edge treatment of the insecticide on soybean would be warranted. That's a look at your agricultural news. More details to the UNL Crop Watch, by the way. I'm Susan Littlefield, the World Radio Network. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.